Hey YouTube, Jason here with Day Train Fearless. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you guys hit the like button and also subscribe. And also make sure you check out um, my Patreon page where you can follow along with uh, my Patreon portfolio where we buy stocks um, and also sell options for the premium. It's only eight bucks a month. The link's down below or go to patreon.com slash day train fearless so um as always let's jump right into this video and let's take a look so last week i said i was starting to get bullish okay or uh, bearish on the market we had this uh falling wedge right here okay and that's actually exactly what happened we did fall out of this uh, falling wedge. It was kind of a weird price action. One of the things we saw was we saw this kind of break. Uh, I, I said, watch for a break below here. Price broke below here, okay, on Monday, and then it reversed and closed to all time highs. And then the very next day, it just sold off really hard. Um, so just something to kind of be aware of. I've seen this before in the past, a few years back, um, kind of like you usually see these types of moves at the highs where it's kind of like it starts getting choppy, weird things happen. Uh, but that's what happened. Um, so we were bearish for a couple of days and then today we kind of came roaring back um now i will say watch the back of this trend line probably watch this uh 44 uh 50 level uh right here um one of the things that i'm seeing when we kind of zoom out here is we don't have actually uh excess still right market profile there should be excess doesn't always have to happen but there should be but um as far as we talk kind of looking at everything right now the market is bullish on the daily time frame um so until proven wrong uh just understand what that bullishness is um but do we come to the back side of this trend line right do we kind of rally up and then fail and start to make a series of lower highs and lower lows. One thing that I am actually concerned about are all these hits. We have one, two, three, dip below, right? Dip below, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hits on this 50 period moving average. It's a uh, EMA. Um, eventually, we're just going to fail this, okay? Don't get too complacent but if we kind of draw trend lines the bigger picture we actually have a bigger falling wedge right um from all of this price action we have a bigger uh, falling wedge that's starting to form just something to be aware of okay not to get too bullish and we're gonna just rally another 500 s p points or whatever i think the market's getting tired i think we do need a big pullback i think it'll be healthy i believe it or not i would see i would love to see a move up to 4500 maybe 4550 have a blow off top and then break and kind of break out of the supper wedge and then break back down fail and then come all the way down and come back and touch the uh 200 period we haven't touched the 200 um since uh the summer of last june 15th of last year so uh remember markets do not always go up um so that's what's going on there uh, let's take a look at nasdaq um last week i said there was a divergence um with nasdaq where it was kind of a little more bullish we kind of uh felt sold off with it too but we are right back up near uh all-time highs again no uh excess up here so i'm actually bullish um this week i'm probably gonna be bullish we are in a bullish trend on the daily um keep it simple don't try and confuse yourself anything like that this uh bull flag is just a bigger bull flag now right Remember, we drew this a couple of weeks ago. Nice bull flag. Um, watch for a move to the upside on that. Let's take a look at crude oil. Crude oil's been, been getting whacked. Um, 
I've been calling for this level, this 61.75, uh, probably for the last uh, couple of weeks. I said X marks the spot. Uh, this trend, this support level, also with just kind of drawing this duplicating that line, adding it here, and look where we came, right here. I am actually bullish in oil this week. Um, I think uh, we might see a little dip below, but we're saying right on the 200. Um, I won't be surprised if we kind of um, get back up to the 65, which was this old uh, support level. Old support becomes new resistant, um, and we are still in the downturn. But remember, we're just in a bigger bull flag on the bigger picture, right? If we kind of uh, take all this away, let's clean this all up, right? And this is essentially uh, what's going on right now. So um, keep trading simple. Don't make it harder than it needs to be. Um, we're at the 200, but we will see. Um, we should see some type of bounce uh, early next week with a crude oil. Um, let's uh, take a look at Bitcoin uh, slash BTC. Um, I've been telling you guys, I've been bullish uh, Bitcoin uh, for a while, ever since we kind of broke out of this falling wedge right here. Um, also, it took too long for it to fail. We're back to the upside um, from high to low. I've been saying kind of watch this uh, 50, 51 to 53,000 level. Okay, um, watch for uh, if you're you've been long, you're trying to figure out where to take profits there. We should see a reversal. It's also a high volume node up here, too. So that's uh, what's going on with uh, Bitcoin. Still bullish um, slash. Uh, oh, let's take a look at gold. Um, last week, I said I was kind of bullish on gold. Um, really haven't gone anywhere, just maybe a little baby bull flag going on. Man, bull flags everywhere, right? As we do this analysis. So uh, watch for a potential move to the upside. Um, sl uh, let's take a look at silver. Okay, silver, ugh, ugly ugly move in silver um as we could see i said watch if we could get back up above this 22 and change never did it tried banged its head and now it's failing so as gold's going higher silver's going lower that ratio spreads coming in um of it so keep an eye eventually it'll probably be it'll reverse where uh silver will start to move higher than gold does, um, but we have to wait and see what happens. Um, if you're looking for levels on silver, keep it simple, just right down to these levels right here, this slow, this slow, um, probably that 2050 level. Um, it's also a gap fill, right? Even from back here, uh, here's our gap at uh, 1916. So there is some uh, movement to the downside. If we get there, I'm actually sitting on my hands with uh, silver. We had gold option uh, puts we sold. Those expired worthless in our Patreon portfolio for the full max credit. So that was a great winner. Um, let's take a look at Apple. Apple uh, kind of bounced. Uh, we talked about this last week, drew some fibs, so watch this level. Came right up to that 52 uh, level. Got up, actually 51.50, um, just below it, pulled back bounced off this uh, trend line um, in the portfolio. I did sell 100 puts. Um, I sold them about a day too early. Um, but think about it, right? Would you love to be a buyer of Apple down here? Okay, this is what's so great about the Patreon portfolio. Just follow. I've I've been doing it since November. Everything's documented. You could see every single trade via Patreon. Um, we've never had a losing month uh with the selling of our option premium so um i sold these for 11 cents the 100 puts for september uh next uh option expiration uh for 11 cents if i would wait one more day we've picked up about 19 cents with the move down with the implied volatility but it is what it is um and so um again 
yes, I will be a buyer way down here. There's always opportunities in the market. Um, so with Apple, <laughs> probably if the market goes higher, watch Apple uh, to go higher too. Um, had a couple of uh, requests, AMZN for Amazon this week. Okay, um, Amazon, <clears throat> we could look at this, okay, and just basic technical analysis, okay? Look above and fail, okay? Think about this, right? We bang our head, bang our head, pull back, come down, bounce, bounce, bang our head, right? Pull back, finally take off, make new highs, break out of all this consolidation, and then we gap down back into the channel. Um, we're below the 200. Probably le path of least resistance is uh, this 2875, uh, 2900 level, um, a move lower. Uh, but be careful with um, what's going on. Let's get rid of a, a lot of this stuff. Boom. Okay, um, we are right around this 200. We are also on the market profile uh, right there. Now, think about this, right? And I keep talking about this week after week. This is excess, okay? All this, if we kind of look at just the market profile, this is what we want. A big move, just stay here a day, a couple days, and then reverse and go lower, okay, this is excess. The auction is over, and that's why you're seeing continued pressure on Amazon to the downside. So uh, for all you guys who asked for that, I hope this helps. Um, I would probably be saying watch uh, down for the slower volume node, 2900 level. But again, we will see. Um, we are oversold, so we may get a little bounce. Okay, we might see something like this, a little bounce, and then a move back down. And maybe this bounce higher is the bounce for the S&P futures. But um, as always, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this. And until next time, we'll talk to you guys soon.